going on guys? It is Nick the Outdoor Everyman here coming uh, with a brand new episode. Um, it's going to be Nick's yard. So what's that going to be? It's going to be about Nick's yard. So I'm going to be out in my yard looking at my yard. <laughs> but uh, I just want to show kind of what I've got going on, types of grasses, um, problem areas, and kind of take you on an adventure this year of what I've been doing, what I'm going to do, and what I'm currently doing. Um, just to kind of give you some more outdoor stuff. I've tried, been trying to get outside as much as possible. I am, you know, the outdoor, every man, not indoor, but unfortunately the weather has been kind of a son of a bee, if you will. So yeah, I'm going to be out in my yard. Give me a couple seconds to get down there. All right, so finally got a mow in. We've had uh, about a week straight worth of rain, and uh, I decided to leave it very long. It's kind of hard to tell here, but I left it pretty dang long. I believe it's going to be close to three and a half, four inches. And uh, I just wanted to basically tip it. One reason, if you guys have been watching, the one third rule. And uh, just a quick reminder you never want to take more than one third off, just it helps. And uh, if you want to know why, the uh, first video explains that. So I'm just kind of out in the lawn. This will be my first episode. There we go. My first episode of uh, Nick's Lawn. It's going to essentially be what am I doing to my lawn in the process of um, the past, the future. Kind of just give you guys something fun to watch. Hopefully, maybe pick up some tips here as well. Um, so I'll kind of go through a couple of problem areas today and uh, apologize for the shakiness. I will be getting a, um, a stabilizer and a tripod and all that fun stuff real soon. So should be a lot better for uh, quality on that. So I'll show a couple of little problem areas I've got. Flip you around here. So this is up by one of the neighbors. I do believe that there's a pile of leaves here most of the year. Laziness on my part. And uh, the neighbor was working on some of his bushes here and had some stuff over and uh, just kind of killed it. So no big deal. That'll be a project coming up. Um, got a lot, I mean a lot of broad leaf. See all that and dandelions. But if you notice, I know I did just cut it, but no dandelions in the front, maybe like one. So we're doing good there. Um, this is the east side of the house. And this is actually where some of my favorite grass are. We got good Kentucky bluegrass right here. Now it's gonna be kinda a little tough to tell, but everything's greening out, thickening up real well. Here's some of the spots around a tree that exposed roots and the low spots we're at. So went ahead and put some fresh dirt there. So that'll be nice once it comes time to get it all seeded. That was one nice giant root there. So still got some trimming to do, but uh, everything's looking well. I've mentioned as I'm walking, you'll see a couple light spots. And you know, I got some there, get a strip there, got some over here. So basically, what that is, I believe, is partly, oops, partly my fault with a uh, little break in the video there, but uh, partly spreader issues. I was kind of messing around with my spreader. It kept on popping off on the uh, little distributor sprocket there, so. I'm going to fix that with some Melorganite, which I know I've talked about it a few times without explaining it, but that episode is coming up. So it's just going to basically be something to green up the lawn. But yeah, it's looking good here. Go to one more quick area of concern. And definitely we're going to grab this bad boy real quick. Get it, get it. All right. You can see on this side, I do have some broadleaf issues which step two should be taking care of that. Again, if you're wondering what step two is, it's in my second video about fertilizers. So I showed you some Kentucky bluegrass. Now we're actually getting into some rye grass and I will be going over the difference in another episode, but you can see it's a lot wispier. And actually some of this is tall fescue as well, but I'll be going over all the differences and whatnot. But up here, this is where I have a lot of water runoff, and I had, and you can kind of see some remnants, I had some moss growing in. There's some moss, you see it. Some stuff that's easily pulled up. 
So all this is bare moss. It's going to be a problem that I end up fighting, and I will show you how to do that. I have already, and down here we had moss too, I've already used a garden weasel, which I'll go over what that is. I've garden weaseled it up. And that kind of pulled most of it out. Basically, it's a little bit of a tiller. Yeah, and this is kind of a surprise spot. This is one of my big areas in the backyard that needs a lot of attention. And I've got, like I said, a surprise and the fact of a spirit experiment. So, and I've got some other issues, but I don't want to go over all of them in this first episode. Run out of things to talk about. So yeah, that's a little bit about my yard and uh, what I'm going to be doing to it down here. And, uh, yeah, I'll be getting more in depth and doing some stuff around the yard and uh, let you guys kind of look at all the stuff I've been talking about and now you can actually see it in action. So I hope you guys enjoyed just nice, short, quick little introduction to that part of the series. So thanks, guys.